hey guys welcome to today's vlog uh, this is behind the scenes i have officially started filming my cultural kitchen yeah boom, 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 boom. and um i'm doing my makeup which i am almost done i am actually running out of time and i'm just going to powder my face this is not a makeup tutorial by the way i just thought why not come on here and finish it off because i'm running out of time so i'm just gonna finish off my makeup here which is not too long while I introduce this vlog. So what I'm just going to do after we're done with doing makeup, I'm going to take you guys to my computer and I show you the planning, what we're planning today. I'm going to be uh, kick-starting off this um, series with my traditional dish, which is sadzane gango, pretty much sadza and gango. <laughs> you will know what gango is in a minute. So I'm just going to take you behind the scenes. I've got stuff all over the sink and we need to prepare that and we'll do that together. Yeah, and I'll take you behind the creative process and everything um, on my computer, like I said, how I'm planning my shorts and everything. So yeah, I hope you really enjoyed this one, which is quite different from what we uh, normally do. Let me bring you guys close. Yeah, it's very different from what we normally do. I know I'm looking ashy, but in a minute I will look put together. Trust me. I hate the sun. I hope the sun is going to behave um, because we've got lots of natural light on that side and I want to be using artificial lighting just for consistency. So get rid of that ashiness. I just put a bit of more powder here because my uh, nose likes to just go watery, runny. My nose always goes runny after doing makeup. I don't know why. I'm wearing these uh, cute earrings. I got these from Focus. Um, we went to an African show the other night and I got these because they were selling them as they match. So, as, a, as their merchandise, so that's what I'm just going to put on um, for like um, a traditional kind of look. So I'm just going to let this sit in. I like to bake my nose because it just gets runny all the time. Um, these are the two lipsticks that I'm using. This one is a liner. It's the Fenty Beauty Unveil and the Fenty Beauty Unbutton um, for the middle. Shake it before I put it on. That's good. Let it dry a bit before I pout my lips. <laughs> Guys, does anyone still put highlighter? I like to put a little bit. My lipstick's drying and I do this. It's looking good. I'm not going to put some gloss. But I'm um, just going to have to brush off this powder. This is just going to set everything and um get rid of all that powdery look so and now let's go to the computer and i'll show you my planning process yeah guys <laughs> woo, 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 woo. okay little missy is fed and she's playing hopefully we're doing this now okay let's continue with the planning Oh. Do you, do you feel like your heart beats if I go to daddy? Because you could say no. Nah. You don't get worried? No, nah, I don't get worried. He can't say no. Why is, why is he saying no? <laughs> it's, his, it's his daughter too. <sighs> Alright, so now I'm sitting on the computer. Guys, I'm just going to ignore the lighting, okay? The sun is coming and going. I feel like I keep saying that I don't have time um, to perfect. Um, I don't have time to perfect the behind the scenes. So um, y'all don't concentrate on the lighting, okay? Just concentrate on how we're working. Um, trust me, the final video will have um, a good quality. So now I am screen recording my Canva. And that's where I do all the creative planning. So now we are going to start with the behind the scenes video uh, that's what i'm going to show you first so i am going to focus more on the i've had to close the blinds i hope that's better all right so for the behind the scenes a video so for the behind the scenes a video 
um, except for uh, the other stuff that you've already seen me getting ready because I just wanted to have a chat with you. Um, the actual behind the scenes video, I will be uh, focusing on intro and planning process, um, which is what I'm already doing now. So that's before I start cooking, I talk to the camera about the dish that I'm making, right? So I'm gonna, um, I'm actually going to print this so that I have it with me when I am filming. So I am, uh, the first thing that I'm going to do is um, the planning process. I'm gonna take you with me and talk to the camera about the dish. That's the first thing that I want to do on the main video and um, like introducing the actual video. So now uh, this is the behind the scenes. I've got four key points of the things that I want to show you. So the first thing that is the intro and planning process. So before I start cooking, I am going to talk to the camera, introduce the video, introduce the dish that I'm going to make. And um, after that's done, I am going to um, not after that's done. So this is what I'm actually doing now. I'm actually taking you through my creative process, how I plan and everything. So that's show the computer where you've laid out your short list or storyboard and explain the steps you're going to take to film the main video. Point how planning, how I'm planning to film the Instagram promo. So that's what I'm actually uh, doing now. So we move on to the second part, which is setting up the kitchen. I'm gonna take you through that, my, me setting up the kitchen and all that um, kind of stuff, like um, the actual main points of behind the scenes of me in the kitchen, what exactly I'm trying to achieve. So I will be talking you through that while I am cooking. And then we begin the filming of the main video. So here I'm not probably, I'm probably not going to show everything, but I am going to show the main things that I feel like they're worth um, showing. And then uh, once I'm done cooking, share the thoughts on how the shoot went. I will share that with you and mention any adjustments because I know I have um, the main video planned in my head. But most of the times uh, when you start filming, there's a lot of things that you start to change because things start to look different. Um, you know, so I am also going to be telling you what I've adjusted especially because of the baby a lot of things change and the sun is coming and going i'm filming during the day i'm actually going to start uh, filming these things at night only because the lighting is better and i have more control of the lighting because i can use my artificial lighting guys the sun in here during the day is crazy so i feel like with this series we are going to be eating a lot of leftovers because meals are going to be made ahead that also uh, helps me with the uh, planning process so that i'm not um rushing for people to eat dinner so yeah this one i did i this one i decided on doing it uh, today because I grew up eating this dish, so I don't think it's going to take me a lot of time and a lot of planning. All right, so now we're moving on to the Instagram promo reel. Like I said, I am planning on uh, pre-filming a lot of these episodes. Maybe if I come up with um, five, six episodes, then I will release the pilot program of this series because i want to see if it's going to be a success initially i wanted to have it on instagram where i do lives with people but because my sorry but because my life is also very busy um yeah i've just had a difficult time to balance the schedules between me and the people that i wanted to film with on live um streaming on my instagram page um, people are also busy a lot of people that i want to film with are not in the country that i want to collaborate with are not in the country and australia is a wild the time difference to a lot of countries especially african countries is insane like i think it's almost like 10 11 hours so that was a challenge that's why i have uh, resorted to doing these things on um on youtube so i want to pre-record all these videos so that um i am able to just release them as i go and i have so much control if things are pre-recorded okay so now i will have a specific reel for each dish that i will use to promo 
um, that I will use for promo on my Instagram, like to say this is what's coming next. So I will be filming that. And then after I have a number of episodes, I am going to combine these videos so that I you know, I use it as a teaser to introduce the series on my Instagram page. So I will be filming that as well. So now let's see what we can do. So this is a short teaser, shots for multiple episodes, right? So my planning is pretty much knowing what to film to include in the teaser reel. I don't know if that's making sense. So I am going to be filming with that in mind that I want this to be part of the main teaser and then i want this to be a part of the specific um dish teaser if that makes sense so this is what we have here so this is just like quick dynamic clips that i'm not going to be doing much on this and close-ups i want the cooking action i want the final dish and you know i want the final dish you know, so yeah, you will see that. Um, and then we've got the main video, which I'm going to have like the intro, ingredients prep, um, cooking process, uh, plating the dish, tasting, and then the outro. And then I also have the key, film, the key filming strategies to make it work. Okay, I have two cameras already. Um, I have two cameras already, so um, I plan the filming order, okay. I'm just gonna keep the promo clips really short. Okay, then there's editing. Uh, that side I will show you when we get there. So this gives me a real, so I think that gives me a pretty good flow of how I want my videos to look like. So now I'm just going to print it and keep it with me on the bench top while I'm cooking so that I am just like looking and seeing if I have included the actual things that I want to include, like the important, the key points. Okay, so now let's head over to the kitchen. We are going to start by um, prepping our ingredients, uh, if that makes sense. Uh, and we're gonna set up the lighting together. And I think my lighting is gonna, my kitchen is gonna be a bit rough <laughs> in the next week or two because I'm just gonna leave my lighting there because it's a lot of work trying to get it out of the garage and bringing it back in. So yeah, let's head over to the kitchen. Guys, I've had to close the blinds and everything. So now I had actually gone to the shops. I will show you what I got. I got some veggies. They put them in a box. I like to buy these in bulk and I freeze them. So here are the vegetables. And I also got um, some meat. This is fish, which I'm going to freeze. I'm not cooking today. And I got some oxtail. So I got some oxtail. It's not much because I'm the only one that likes oxtail in this house. Okay, and I got lots of beef from the local butcher. Three. All right, so let's just, um, I'll get enough veg. I'll put um, the veggies that I'm not using, I'll put in the fridge and I'll just leave enough for our meal that we're cooking. And uh, it will also portion my meat and leave enough for what we're cooking. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> my grandmother and ask because um, I'm making a Zimbabwean dish mm -hmm. I want to call my mom and my grandmother and ask the importance of like I want to ask the traditional aspects of these dishes do I have my phone this side oh okay come on Hello? 
Eva ma tube. Ay, fuga. Fuga en chan. Ah, ven fungu buza la pa. Fugule. Mfungu buza ngoba gule ma gule. Ah, ni anstega ngoba lao ya ngwa zuguti zinto za nkone ya zazi in. Ogupega i video ya me zinto za se Zimbabwe, like kawchara u video. Ogupega ama dishi za se Zimbabwe. So mfungu pegi shuada lo mpita. Mfungu pegi shuada lo mpita. Gotwa. Mfungu pendula enyi mbuzo enyi nga ya ziyo. Njongo kuti. Ama cultural aspects e dishi ya nkone ngi ipega yo. Ewiti, amu na pega nga kuli miskiwa esu ye ekula. Ay, madube ngo, sukali sikiwa wena. Iii. Njongo kuti nga nga, kati nga bangu kupegi raise le tobide nkukule ya ni, i kukwi chiken le ya ni e e o mile e e e e e e e e e e so jangan aku nak kena kau tengah mpegi rai selle tobi, aku tu vele gua aku vele gua suka ngap, aku tengah ni abang tapa aku pega utala. Why babe pega ngap? Eh, jangan aku tu gua suka ngap. Let's just say aku tu main city babe fagi tobi, ngai aku tu babe ngela mafuta in isn't this in jad? It will be lali here out there. Mm-hmm. Okay. Jalo, liak on the summer term. Liak on the summer term, okay. Then, i, 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 do kuza. I, 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 mpita le nyama wakui upombu mslanga nisa nji. Kwaku nge la, anything behind it. I know, I, kwaku nge la. Oh, okay. And the inku kunga wabe ipega. Okay. 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 Ini apa yang nak faham? Ini tematis. Ini pegang ikhwati sebab ikan zinga buat. Ini apa yang nak faham? Ini Mwa awenzi wa rukano wote tuto tu kipa sufari mafuti na hi, mwa tu mapira mafuti kanzi na kona ku kanzi na upaga kona. Okay, so yabo sisi nzuko kanzi, utela manzu kanzi, utela manzu. Ee, ina rafu tisi ni sida ku, endeni unga kanzi na rusuda hivyo we quarters. Okay. Sikanzi. Okay, ai yabo. Okay, so guys. With my filming, with my lighting, I like to have a three-point lighting. So I'm going to have two lights facing uh, me. Actually, sideways. Like this. All right, let's put on an apron. My friend got me this apron a few years ago. Okay. So uh, that's it. Now the lighting here. Yo, she's rubbing her eyes, she's sleepy. Okay, let me put it on my bed. Okay, so this light will be here. Oh, this thing is here, guys. Let's see. Do I need two? I think I'm just gonna use two lights. Ha! I actually wanted the other one on that side, but no, we're gonna use two. The lights on. And then this one. I'm going to get my pots ready. I know I'm oversaturated, like the light is over. 
Um, all right, so that's it with the two lights. I've got one on this side and the other one on this side. So now, okay, let me put this camera on this side. So now I've got my lights all set up. I'll probably adjust them a bit later, but I just wanted to see, I just wanted you guys to see how everything's looking. So I've got that light on that side and the other light on this side. I usually have another light above when I'm filming like proper kitchen studio cooking videos, not the vlog style that I've been doing. Um, the only thing that's gonna be a challenge today is the sun, but moving forward, I'll try and film these videos at night when there is no sun at all, because the sun coming and going constantly interferes with my lighting. Um, and I'm good at night because I've got artificial lighting and I've got more control of that. So I've got my ingredients, everything ready here, but I'm not going to talk a lot about the ingredients because I will be talking about the ingredients in the actual video. So now, uh, yeah, so now I'm just going to set up the camera and put it where it's supposed to go and make sure everything is in order before I put baby to sleep. Guys, I started this video at, um, I think 2.30, that's 2.30, that's when I got here and I started doing my makeup and everything. But now the time is three minutes past four. So that was the planning, baby included and everything. I wanted you guys to see the actual work that goes into uh, these videos. So now I uh, am going to set up the camera, like I said, and I will try and uh, make baby sleep because it's a nap time, isn't it, Baba? Isn't it? Okay. I like my videos to be bright. So is this the middle? I think so. But it needs to be up a bit, like facing up. All right, so the first shot, I want it to be a wide angle of me standing behind the kitchen and showing the background, just to show. Um, so that's what we call an establishing shot to sh for you guys to see where I am, because you just don't want to see me chopping veggies. You start wondering where I am. I'm going to get this out of the way. And I am going to set up my camera here making sure it's showing a very wide angle of the kitchen with me standing behind and my ingredients right in front of me guys i think i'm going to okay i think i'm just going to change uh, this dress the color is just interfering with everything it's making it's giving it like an orange tone so i think i'm gonna find something that's quite neutral that not, that's not gonna interfere with the color of um the background or anything let's see I think I hey guys do, do, do. the light on your side needs to be less right Is it good? I've got my everything here. I've got my ingredients here. Do I still need to change? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hey everyone, welcome back to my kitchen. I am super excited to introduce to you my brand new series, which is Cultural Kitchen. In this series, each week, I am going to be exploring food from different cultures. Yes. Is it there? Yes. Okay, good, thank you. Okay, so okay. Uh, let's see, did I miss anything from here? From the Instagram. Okay, so I am, I think I'm gonna use my phone. I'm moving from here on. Let's put the camera effort on the top. Alright, 
so now I want to make sure it's focusing on the vegetables. Uh, this is for my vegetables. You can move around the camera to show me. Is it coming out nice? Okay, so now we are just going to. our veggies the next thing that I'm going to do we are moving on to the stove and um, we'll start cooking pretty much what I'll be just doing with this main camera right here is to take the close-up shots okay so yeah let's let's start cooking a night a light all the shady features and all are empty worlds behind the sea they're picking up the pieces of broken hearts but i believe in coloring the world gotta have to be heard in time we can fight back ready to go right back Oh guys, I'm done cooking now. It looks amazing. I've got uh, the meat in this dish and this was my test taste. This was my taste test plate and um, yeah, I just wrapped up the video. My camera for some reason is not recording and I'm using my phone. So yeah, this part is done. This part is done. So I will show you how I edit this video. So yeah, I'm so excited to see how everything will turn up out. Um, anyways, we are stopping here and let's have some dinner. So I am now editing and I'm just going to, I'm not going to show you a lot of editing um, today because I will do that in my next video because I don't want to overwhelm you with a lot of information. We've already uh, covered the setup, how I plan for the videos. So I'm just going to show you uh, the filming uh, software that I use. I use uh, Filmora. So after I use Filmora, okay, so now let's go. So this is Filmora. I go in here and I put all my videos in the software. I put my, vi I put my videos in the software over here and this is my timeline where I do a lot of pasting and stuff. Um, command a save. Let's close this one. Okay, so this is my um, editing software, Wonder, Wonder Share Filmora, okay? So uh, this is my video, which I've already started editing, by the way. And yeah, so I've just edited all the clips in here. I've done all the splitting, cutting, and deleting. So now, uh, one thing that I wanted to show you was the music, okay? For my music, I use uh, this platform. It's called Epidemic Sound. I pay for this every month. And um, I'm actually thinking of doing it every year, like paying yearly instead of uh, monthly. Okay, so now I'm going to search uh, for music, okay? I need some music that has like... Um, I need some music with like uh, an African theme right like african theme african themed music so i am just going to type in here africa let's see just type africa see what we have okay <laughs> Hmm. 
okay I think I like that one I'm just gonna click here click download and which are let's see <laughs> Nah, I need something with like instrument, right? Like mbira. <laughs> yes. I like the sound of that. I'm just gonna download this one. Okay, let's find one more. King of okay. Dip inside. The rainforest. I like this. I like this. All right, so let's download that one and that'll be the last one. Okay. All right, I think these three should do because I'm doing, um, so I think these three songs should do because I'm doing a lot of talking and uh, I just need this for when I'm doing like a B-roll, okay? So let's, um, I'll probably repeat some of them because the music, you won't really hear it. It's like a soundtrack kind of uh, thing that we're going for. All right, so now we are just going to import our music to our Wanda Share Filmora. I've already edited, by the way. And the other thing that I did, I have put in my logo, cultural kitchen logo. And another thing that I did was put in a logo, uh, this one. So I'm just going to have a specific logo for the country that i'll be doing okay let's see how the music sounds are put in here let's see where um i'll just go where i'm doing like a b-roll and we see how the music sounds and that'll be it so here something my mom taught me when just made sure to wash my vegetables of those moments in the kitchen with her Love it. Everything is washed. Oh wow, that looks good. I like this. I think it's flavor and texture. I like it. Okay, so I think that's it. Then I'm just gonna save my video and i will also take you through to my um what do you call it uh my thumbnail so where is the thumbnail i've already done the thumbnail by the way where is it oh i think it's here is it nah cultural kitchen oh this is my logo i did this in my canva Behind the scenes, Gango. Oh, yeah, that's it. Okay. So I've just put the. I hope you guys can see proper. I've just put the logo and a background of the Gango and myself here eating. And I have just put the flag here. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, guys, so uh, that's pretty much it for this behind the scenes video. We will be exploring more concept in the videos that are to come. Like I got a few videos that I'm, I'm also going to do the behind the scenes for. So I hope you kind of grasped how I do things like the creative process of it, the editing. I will touch more about it in my next um, video. So yeah, that's all for this behind the scenes video. I hope you really learned a lot from this video and let me know what you found interesting, especially now that you've asked especially now that you've watched uh, the actual video and now seeing the behind the scenes let me know what you think of the work that goes into it the creative process um choosing the music the editing yeah all of it let me know what what you found are uh, really interesting i will see you in my uh, next video bye for now